Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this video session, we will learn about how to rank your customer sales in SAP HANA. For detailed training on HANA Access Advanced, feel free to subscribe our training on XSA with anubavtrainings.com. So let's go ahead and look at the use case and see the power of HANA window functions as part of SQL script in HANA Access Advanced. So what I will do now is first of all, I'll take you through the documentation quickly. So HANA provides variety of window functions, which allows you to rank, derank your values and measures and categorize them in certain ways, the way you want to present them to the end user. So these are all present as part of SAP HANA SQL reference guide available on the internet. And you can go to the section SQL functions, window functions, and here you can see variety of window functions. In this video, we will discuss about the, the concept of rank function. So within the rank function, there are two different rank functions. One is called a normal rank and another is called a dense rank. So as you can see, they have also provided a nice little example here to, to rank the data. But in spite of using this uh, mock data, I will be using a real data from our, our container table, which we created in HANA Access Advanced Training. So you can see basically in this case, we have some products and uh, the type of the product and then there is a sales volume of each of the product and we are just simply ranking this up. Now ranking is all about re-rating or arranging your content based on a measure in an order. So you can see out of all the product, which product has given me the maximum sales is this, uh, is, is ranked accordingly in the system. So now what I'm going to do is I will go back to my HANA container. And over here, you can see I've created a couple of tables like master data partner table. And I've got also sales order table, which is a transaction data. So I will switch over to my SQL console in Web IDE. And the very first thing I would like to show you all the, all the sales order data in the system. So I'll just select star from my transaction sales order table. And you can see I have some sales data over here with sales orders. And also we have the total gross amount of sales and also um, also the order count. So let me just get here the total sale per business partner and uh, the number of orders per business partner ordered me. So I will just say um, put here my partner dot partner ID and I will sum up the gross amount. sales amount and I would also count here the number of orders I have got from from each of the partner and of course we just count here sales order ID and of course since we are aggregating data with the aggregate function it's a good practice to always or in fact, it's mandatory to always use the columns which are not participating in the in the aggregate function as a group by. So let's pick up this one here and paste. And let's go ahead and execute this, this query. So now in this query, what we are trying to do is we will be trying to get the total uh, business partners and we will group this data by uh, the gross amount and sales order. So now I have a syntax error here. Let's see. Uh, of course, we are missing the as keyword and also this name since it's containing a dot, we should be packaging this as part of our double quotes. And just execute again and voila, you can see we've got total orders and total sales amount, but still we probably have to go back manually and rank these, these customers, these partners. So, and that's where the rank function or the the HANA window function really truly helps me. So I can go back and I can say now the rank function, please rank uh, based on what I have to rank uh, based on uh, my um, order by sum of gross amount. So based on this, please rank uh, my values. And then I can say rank order by amount. Yeah. So that's what exactly the rank function does. We can allow this to rank the, the automatically by the system.
we have to also use rank over actually so rank over order by sum of gross amount and now let's execute again and there you go you got the ranking of and as you can see here the order sales amount is same for these three customers hence they all were ranked exactly at the same position so this will also help you to tomorrow for example this result you would like to consume it in a in a hierarchy or in a tree so this can really help you to build the correct hierarchy automatically you don't have to really do lots of computation by yourself to calculate these values now maybe I would more interested to rank them in descending order so I can also say descending order and now I can see the order which is having the highest uh, sales is ranked as number one then the second highest and of course uh, consecutively the third highest now another interesting thing which you can observe here when it comes to rank is uh, system is uh, keeping the same order volume or order amount as same rank and since this is uh, a same rank what system does it gives all three of them as the same rank at number three and because of that this number four and five is kind of uh, uh, abandoned in the final result and the next subsequent number is six so at times it, it may it may confuse your end user or probably you may not want it to be like this you want the number to not be proved rather you would like to see the sequential number even though the volume is same yeah so in that case you can also go with another function called dense rank so just instead of rank just use the same code and just put here the dense rank of course dense underscore rank and now let's look at the value so maybe I just say D rank amount and let's execute and let's observe now so you can see the still system is ranking them all three because they are at a same volume order volume is same this is fine but you see it's now not pruning your your ranking number because of that that's a difference between rank and and dense rank so this is how you can uh, use depending on your use case uh, which function is more suitable you can go ahead and use that so that's about the basic fundamentals of the window function the rank and dense rank maybe you can subscribe my advanced access advanced course to understand how do we got this web id how do we uh, work with hana access advanced how do we create containers use hdi uh, deployment cds hana cds creating calculation views inside uh, SQL scripting complete end-to-end -end SQL scripting is covered as part of our access advanced training So more details you can subscribe always uh, Our access a training with node.js development for end-to-end -end cloud applications as well as OP applications on native HANA With that is a wrap. I'll see you in the next video and we will try to write a, our first a SQL script procedure Using the same SQL script code which we tested here in the console. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video